the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. So, well, uh, the Lord Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Elohim has spoken with me. And uh, in this day, on this day, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. And he spoke with me about a meeting that is coming up. And uh, he's speaking to me at such a time when I'm headed to Finland, to Helsinki for the big meeting. And in that meeting, I walk into a healing service. And when the Lord brings me to the healing service, I can see that that venue is ascending. I think people are sitting in ascending order. There are some people seated up. It's an ascending venue. There are people up there and others are down. It's, co it's coming down. Others are up. So it's an ascending order. It's a venue that has a seating arrangement such that where the man of God will be is down, while people sit in ascending order. Ascending order. I see people in ascending order. Some up over there. And then um, the Lord Jehovah, he causes his servant to walk near the people that are sick, those that are crippled, blind, deaf, mute. And as I walk, I see my shadow, and as my shadow touches the people, then a historic healing anointing that I have never seen befalls the meeting, hits the meeting like this. I want to repeat this, that there is a meeting the Lord Jehovah is sending me to, and at this time the Lord is speaking to me when we are just about to leave for Helsinki in Finland for the big two days of national conference in Helsinki, conference of pastors, and then the last day of a major healing service in Helsinki. And I also know that I have another meeting right away coming up, either in Mozambique and then finally in Australia, in Perth, Australia, and Melbourne. And then after that, another meeting in some cities of South Korea. So with this kind of itinerary, the Lord is speaking to me right now about a meeting. And I'm heading to a meeting. And when I go to this meeting, I don't know whether this is the meeting coming up in Helsinki, in Finland. But I see that there is a venue. I enter into the healing service. So the Lord Jehovah brings me into the service. And I see that where his servant is standing is the lower point, And people are sitting in ascending order. Ascending order. I see people up there. So all the way from down, all the way up there. People are sitting up there in that, on that, in that venue on that day. And it's a major healing service. So it's full of people. And this looks to me more like the meeting coming up in Finland. And as the Lord brings me to that meeting, people are full sitting in ascending order. The seats go up. And I see people up there. It's a little bit round. Uh, the design is round, almost like an amphitheater of sort, but not. And then as the Lord Jehovah brings me into the meeting, the mighty God of Israel, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah Mekadishkan, Jehovah Hamelech, the king, Jehovah Mishpat, the judge, Hashofet. When he brings me into the meeting, then I see a lot of sick people, some of them crippled, blind, deaf, mute, all over that meeting. is a healing service. And then all of a sudden, 
the Lord instructs me by voice to walk by those people that are sick, and then I see my shadow, then I see my shadow. So as I walked like this, as my shadow began to touch those people like this, then a historic healing anointing that I have never seen since the Lord sent me hit the meeting. The most historic ever. It shocked me very much. And all of a sudden, all the cripples began to get up. The wheelchairs were lifted. And as I moved, I remember I moved with my shadow touching them forward. And as I looked up, I said, look at what is happening there. When I stretch my hand like this, a massive power touched people up there. And I see wheelchairs lifted up, cripples walking, many deaf, many blind were walking in, in streams. I see some of them dressed in uh, uh, their uniform clothes. I don't know where, whether they are from a school of the deaf or blind. So I'm wondering whether this meeting is Finland or is taking place somewhere in Mozambique or in Australia, because I see people in uniform. They are dressed in uniform. They, they, they are like from the school of the blind because they lift up the white towards me, and they are healed, and it's a big situation, a big chaos develops there. I'm hoping this is Finland, Helsinki, where I'm headed to, because I see them as though they're in uniforms. This may be Finland, Helsinki. But a historic killing anointing that I have never seen, I know that what happened in Nakuru was historic and what happened in Namibia recently was historic. But this is now super historic because everything breaks loose as my shadow began to touch people. And then cripples got up, wheelchairs, chaos, blind eyes. And I kept saying, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at cripples, look at the blind, look at them. The deaf were hearing it was a very chaotic moment. It's the most historic healing anointing I have ever seen since the Lord sent me. In Nakuru at Menengai was absolutely historic. But this shocked me because I have never seen this. In the next few days, the Lord Jehovah or He to this place, and there is a healing service. And this looks like Finland because I see the, 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 where the Lord puts me is the lowest point, and it's more like an amphitheater because people are sitting in ascending order all the way up there. I see people sitting up there. From down there, sitting up there, it was a healing service. And as the Lord brings me into the healing service, then the voice of the Lord instructs me to walk by the sick, that my shadow may touch them. And I remember the same thing that just happened in Windhoek, Namibia, last week, when I walked by people that had tumors, and my shadow touched them, and big tumors and lumps dissolved from their breasts and everywhere. But this time around... As the Lord asks me, instructs me, commands me to walk by the sick. Those that were down, as at where I was, it's like the right-hand side of that, uh, that, that venue. As I walked by them, then I am able to see my shadow in this major conversation and visitation of the Lord, the Father. And as my shadow begins to touch them like this, one after the other, a historic healing anointing that has never happened on the earth hits that place. I know that Nakuru Menengai was very historic where I could not take testimonies. At one point, I have to receive three blind eyes, walk with them, four cripples. It was absolutely chaotic. But this one was very shocking, this one. Then I saw cripples and blind and the deaf and the mute and the paralytics and the lame. And then when I turned my eyes up, I saw those who were up the, in the upper seats on the upper deck. I saw, as I turned towards them, I said, look at that. When I stretched my hand, then the power, the glory of God touched them and mowed them a bit, mowed quite a huge chunk of people up there. And then after that, touching them, I saw wheelchair. In fact, I see a wheelchair with round wheels, which are... Round soft wheels, a wheelchair, round, and those and those wheels appear to me more like they are brownish. 
and then I see wheelchairs lifted when cripples are now up and walking, and it's very chaotic because I see many sticks of the blind, the white cane of the blind. I see it is tremendous as the deaf. I see some people on this side. I don't know whether these are ashes. Maybe it is Finland, and these are ashes. But I see them coming with sticks raised, sticks raised. There is a historic visitation of the Lord that is coming to the earth. The Lord is sending me at such a time to Finland to Helsinki, and I know that we had planned to go, I had planned to go to Uvascular also, which is really farthest, but we are not able to get to Uvascular, so there is a big meeting that takes place in Helsinki. We have decided to combine the two meetings into Helsinki. There is a big visitation that is coming to the house of the Lord. Today the Lord showed me that he took me to the venue. I have seen the meeting. I have seen the visitation of the Lord Jehovah. There is a historic visitation that takes place. The Lord brings me to a venue of a meeting. And at that venue, I can see as I came ascending down. And then I reached where I stood, the lowest point at that venue. It looks more like an amphitheater because I see people sitting in ascending order. It was a big healing service because people had come. And then at that place, the Lord Jehovah by voice instructs me to walk by the sick and the crippled, they were on wheelchairs. Many of them were sitting down there on their wheelchairs to walk by them. And then as I began to walk by them, I could see my shadow. I see my shadow touching them. As my shadow began to touch each one of them, a historic healing anointing struck that meeting, struck it and hit it. It shocks me very much. Because everywhere, cripples and blind and deaf and mute, everything broke loose. It was so chaotic. And then when I turned up, I looked at the people that were up. As I stretched my hand, I said, look at that. And then a historic glory left my hand and mowed people up there. It was tremendous. After which I saw a wheelchair lifted up from there. A creeper was walking. It was very chaotic on that side. And everywhere, blind, deaf, mute. I kept saying, look at that. Look at that. Look this way. Look at this way. Look at this way. Look at what's happening up there. So it's a big visitation of the Lord that is coming to the earth. And the Lord is sending me to this place. And why is the Lord bringing forth such a historic visitation at this hour? A historic healing anointing at this hour? I say it very clearly that we just came back from Windhoek in Namibia, where the crippled babies stood up and walked, the crippled women stood up and walked. It was a tremendous thing. And the Lord allowed me to walk, and my shadow touched those who were lined up with big tumors and lumps, which dissolved in a very historic, shocking manner. Now, why is this happening to the earth? The Lord Jehovah, he has shown me the glorious coming of the Messiah. He has spoken with me about the glorious coming of Christ Jesus, the Messiah, the return of the Christ. And I know that for all those who are tuned in by radio, globally, I see many, many cities all the way from Finland itself, all the way to Australia, across Africa, United States. I see many, many, many cities, the whole globe tuned in all the way to New Zealand, South Korea, South America, everywhere. It is now common knowledge for the entire earth that when you look at the occurrences of this earth, then you begin to understand that we have never been this way before. And it is in that context that the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me about the glorious coming of the Messiah. And the Lord is instructing, using this mighty, historic, tremendous visitation, the most glorious visitation I have seen, is using this to instruct preparedness in the church. He's asking the church to prepare and return to righteousness, that people may return to holiness, that sexual sin may come to an end in the church, the sin of deception and lies, perversion, immorality, the dressing of women. If you see in those countries, the nudity, even in Kenya here, the nudity sometimes in the church also, the false prophets, the false apostles. The Lord is asking 
and commanding the nations now to repentance. He's asking everybody to repentance. Asking them to return to repentance. And live a holier life because the coming of the Messiah has drawn nigh. The coming of the Lord is in hand. Again, I have seen myself. Today the Lord took me to a meeting. And I think this is the healing service in Helsinki, Finland. Because that is the next mission we are headed to in the next few days. And as the Lord brings me into that venue of the healing service, I see it's like an amphitheater. The last time I did a healing service in Helsinki, it was in a similar venue where people were sitting in ascending order, ascending order, ascending order. And then as the Lord brings me into that venue, then there were these very many people, he, the, 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 the ones in need of healing, uh, the, the sick, the, the, the afflicted, those in tremendous pain. I could see the cripples, the blind, the cripples. There were many cripples that were sitting on their wheelchairs also. The deaf, the mute, and many conditions, the cancers, tumors, name it, diabetes, kidney problems, heart conditions the mute, and then the Lord, he instructs me, he commands me to actually walk by those people that my shadow may touch them. So as I begin walking by them, I am able to see my shadow, and as my shadow begins to touch them, a historic healing anointing strikes that meeting. He hits that meeting. And when the historic healing anointing hits the meeting, all of a sudden it becomes chaotic. I see the blind eyes open here, the cripple get up and walk. I see wheelchairs lifted up. I see the can of the blind, many cans lifted up. And then as I looked up to those that were seated in the upper zone of that seating arrangement, as I stretched my hand, I said, look at there. Look at that now. When I stretched my hand, massive power of glory left my left prophetic hand and mowed them there. It was a big touch. And then after which I saw now the wheelchairs lifted up and the cripple walking from that side and everything was absolutely chaotic. There is a massive healing anointing. There is a massive visitation that is coming to visit the church. The Church of Christ world over has to prepare for this visitation because right now, as the Lord sent me to Finland, this is what the Lord has spoken. There is going to be a massive visitation of Jehovah that will take place in the meeting, the healing service that is coming up. And many cripples will walk, many blind will see, many deaf will hear. It was chaotic. I could not take testimony. It was an unbelievable moment to behold. The Messiah is coming. The Lord is asking that the nations repent and return to righteousness. This is the hour when the Lord is summoning the nations to observe a holy assembly and repent unto the Lord. Turn away from the gospel of prosperity that came from the devil, the gospel that has no power for deliverance, the gospel that says you can bribe God for a certain price and get away with holiness. Remember, if there's anything about Jehovah that changes not, from eternity of the eternities into the eternity of the eternities, it is the holiness of God, the God of Israel. So the Lord has instructed that the nations repent and prepare for the coming, the glorious coming of the Messiah. May those who have ears listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. This is he about whom it was written in Scripture, that behold, I send an angel ahead of you, to prepare your way and to lead you to the promise. But do not rebel against him. Do not bring your wickedness against him. Do not bring your corruption unto him. He will not forgive you because I put my name and my spirit in him. The Messiah is coming. Shalom. <laughs>